On this episode of Long Haul, we're checking out the 2016 Sea Dews. It was earlier this year that we uh, heard quite a bit of rumors about what was going to happen for 2016. Turns out that we were about 99% right. What I'm sitting on right now is the new RX TX 300. It features a six, uh, 1630 cc ace motor. Uh, it's actually a really revised 1503 Rotax. It is not a dual cam like the Spark uh, ace motor, but it does feature quite a bit of innovation in it. Uh, new lightweight pistons, uh, improved oiling, uh, improved cooling as well. Uh, obviously, a, a imp several improvements to the supercharger and, in and intercooler. Uh, supercharger wheels, actually a little bit smaller, features double the blades in it, which is able to process a lot more air, uh, producing 18 pounds of boost. Uh, the intercooler is 30% more efficient and is made from new, long-lasting alloys. Uh, we're looking at a supercharger that requires literally zero maintenance with uh, a double composite bearings in it with a uh, new gear, new ratio for the gearing. Uh, really, really impressive. Whole new clamshell for the supercharger. Uh, what you're getting out of this is a lot of throttle response. Uh, with the larger displacement in the engine, we're also getting a fantastic uh, mid-range torque band, which c continues to pull. Very, very prominent in the X-Series skis, both the TX and the PX. The PX obviously being a lighter ski, a far more responsive ski. Something also really cool that they added to the new S3 based watercraft, both the GTX, the Wake Pro that still is a 215, and of course the RX TX, is not only do they have the watertight storage bin, but that bin is nice and sealed in and it's no longer things rattling around. It actually looks really, really good. All right, we're gonna get a little up close, uh, a little personal with the new RX TX 300. Um, this is obviously uh, a new benchmark for the three-seater uh, S3 platform that sea has really put a lot of development into, really put a lot of thought into making the watercraft handle a lot better, have the watercraft be far more responsive and most importantly is to get the rider really in control of all 300 horse. Uh, Ergo lock seat that really uh, gets your knees inside of these these bolsters and with the angled foot wells that you're seeing here at the bottom uh, you're locking your feet in you're getting them positioned so that your knees are holding you in that way you're not getting the arm pump you're not using your shoulders and your chest to, to hang on for dear life, but you're really planted in, you're really locked in, hence the name. But I think the big thing that everyone's excited for is we're gonna show you the new uh, Rotax uh, 1630cc ACE motor. There are some major changes that are very, very noteworthy. They drastically improve the oil cooling and the water jackets. So you're, getting, you're dropping that internal engine temperature. Um, but they they have an external external cooler that is almost double the size of the previous one that the battery has been moved forward instead of out of the back like it was before a very smartly redesigned engine compartment that is putting all the weight center right underneath the rider so you no longer have the big IBR motor in the back with the removable panels and the battery on the other side you have the motor directly underneath your butt you got all the weight underneath you so what we're seeing is uh, some really smart engineering going into a racecraft but made for the normal enthusiast who just likes to go fast all right we got our hands on the 2016 RX PX 300 obviously new for this year um, the RX PX itself of course is a phenomenal machine is unabashedly unapologetically uh, designed for really aggressive handling, really aggressive cornering. Um, this is not a cruiser. This is not by any means a long distance hauler. It wants to lean over and it wants to bite a churn like a sport bike. And quite frankly does it better than most all watercraft. It is a, 
uh, rides on a very narrow um, T3 hull, very deep chines, uh, very deep keel that likes to lean over and really bite that churn. You're going to feel it, you, and especially with the ergo lock seat, as you're going to see here, you got the lifter wedges, the foot wedges. Those foot wedges angle your knees directly inside of this cove. With both knees locked in, you're able to use your lower body to stay in place while you use your upper body just to steer. You're no longer white knuckling it and getting serious arm pump just trying to hang on to the stinking ski. The grips you see here have a really neat kind of uh, a palm base and that palm base uh, allows you to rest your hand a little bit easier. The thumb will slide right inside here and you can grab the trigger and it has a really nice ergonomic feel. Uh, there's a little bit of a pistol grip design here in the front but what you're really gaining is this and they've they've integrated this into all the watercraft all the way from the uh, $16,000, 17000 GTX, uh, GTX Limited, the fully loaded watercraft, all the way down to the Sparks. Uh, they really want everyone to enjoy this. Uh, they think it really adds to the riding experience. We've used it a lot. Um, we find that if you keep your hands steady and if you're not doing a lot of twist, that uh, it's great, it's fantastic. If you are finding yourself kind of going through a lot of multiple positions as you bring the bars down, you bring the bars up, um, this might get in the way but you're gonna find a real limited amount of people who do that. For 2016, we're also getting 300 horsepower out of a new motor. It is a uh, stroked and bored uh, new version of the outgoing uh, Rotax Fortec, or what is commonly known as the 1503 motor. Um, this new motor is 1,630 cc's. It is the new ACE 300 motor. Very similar, well, I actually identical, to the uh, RXTX and the GTX Limited 300, uh, both of which uh, share the same power plant and new pump. Uh, it does bear noting that uh, while the stator is the same, the Venturi and the prop have been modified, have been changed, so that all that horsepower is now applicable and is put to good use uh, in the water. You're not cavitating the heck out of it and just spinning your wheels. There's a brand new supercharger, a new wheel uh, with uh, extra blades. Uh, you're able to really ramp up the boost. They're, they're pushing 18 pounds of boost now. And actually through a smaller diameter wheel, which is impressive. The supercharger itself is a maintenance-free supercharger. And by maintenance-free, we mean that uh, you're no longer having to do a rebuild service every 100 hours, 150 hours, or 200 hours to replace the clutch washers. Um, what they have now are a, a new uh, clutch pack of eight clutch washers and some really neat composite uh, bearings. These bearings um, and this very large input shaft, I, it really bears mentioning, it's almost an inch in diameter. The best minds in the industry have all agreed that Sea2 uh, really did their homework and really stepped up to the plate when it came to doing the new 300 motor. It's really meant for uh, just hauling butt on the lake. Uh, we, <laughs> it can wear you out, and uh, you're gonna give up before it does. It's, <laughs> it's really a powerhouse. Day, uh, everyone who loved the the 260 is gonna probably just trade in their 260 for the new 300. Really, really impressive. Uh, we're we can't really say enough about it. There you have it, 70 miles an hour, pretty nice, huh? Life Proof, you are the best. I love you, Life Proof.